Well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6ES uh, amateur radio channel. Just a just a very quick video before I do the sort of loss through the um, tuner. So remember, I have the FT450 connected to the old FLDX2000 via the MFJ945E to provide an impedance match into the amplifier. Um, probably won't be able to see the needles. First of all, I'll just I'll just key the amplifier. Let's key the amplifier and show you the output. About 500 watts. Got about 50 watts of drive. If I turn it down to 40 watts of drive, it's a bit over 400 watts comes out of it, which is you know, full legal, it's plenty enough. Now, if I then show you the input SWR. Sorry about this wobbling camera work. You can see the SWR indicated here, it's on, uh, it's on SWR, very little, as you can see that, very little reflected energy, it's quite happy, quite happy, a little bit of reflected energy there but you can see that it's sort of quite happy driving the, quite happy driving the amplifier. It's probably a little bit too much amp current there, probably needs to be uh, I think maximum 900 mils, that's showing about an amp, but uh, that wouldn't matter too much on SSB. Okay, so let's have a look at the SWR when I take the tuner out of line. I can do that just by flicking the bypass button, like that. So now the tuner's not in line. Let's have a look at the anode current. Ooh, it's considerably down, isn't it? Output power. Mm, not significantly different. So it's actually heaps more efficient by the look of it. I mean, that still looks like 500 watts coming out. Uh, with a lot less anode current. Okay, interesting. And what do we have here? SWRs, 2.5, 2 2.6 to 1. So the higher SWR, without the tuner, on the drive radio, but it actually seems like it's happier. The amplifier is certainly more efficient without the tuner in there. So that's very interesting on what earth is going on. So to receive, I have to have this on bypass, otherwise it attenuates the signal. It certainly attenuates it enough for me to hear the difference. Just put that back in. Now we've got a much better match, hardly anything reflected. But it must be the throughput power of this. No, it can't be that either, can it? Look at that anode current. See that thrift, that's a lot more anode current. And pretty much the same output power. Isn't that interesting? So with so the same amount of power without the tuner driving into the amplifier produces the same output for a lot less input yet reflects more energy back into the drive radio. What the deuce is going on, I wonder? I'll have a think about that one. All right, well, I uh, hope you found that interesting or curious. I'll do the uh, I'll do the receiver throughput uh, uh, test. Never think about that one. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.